All right, welcome back again. This is uh, um, Justin Brunken here at the Industrial Solutions Network, uh, powered by CED, data-driven manufacturing event here in Nebraska. And I'm again with Panduit, uh, this time Steve. Uh, he is, you know, the safety expert with Panduit, right? Don't let him, don't let him tell you otherwise here. So he's going to be talking about uh, the VeriSafe absence of voltage tester. Uh, somewhat new from Panduit, correct? Yes, brand new. Uh, we just received the UL approval on this at the end of uh, June, and we are now shipping a uh, product out uh, for installs at OEM and uh, maintenance and repair. Um, what has prompted Panduit to develop this particular product is in large part due to UL and also the NFPA 70E requirements for any tech or maintenance person to verify no voltage inside of an enclosure prior to them doing work on the inside. And currently what is out there in the market or how they go about uh, testing is that they would have to have an instrument that they would have to take over to a known power source, confirm that the instrument was in fact working. Then they could uh, uh, have to put on the full uh, per personal protection equipment to the degree that would be indicated by the arc flash or arc fault labeling on the enclosure. They would open up the enclosure and then they would per perform the test on the power supply, line side, load side, wherever it was determined it needed to uh, be confirmed. After they had confirmation that there was no power inside the enclosure, they would have to take that instrument again, go to the known power source and confirm that that instrument was still functioning properly. Once they've completed that, they would be able to uh, perform the uh, work that needed to be done on the inside of the enclosure. So what Panduit has done is come up with a uh, system here that's uh, consistent of three components. You have an indicator module and it's conveniently designed to work in a standard 30 millimeter uh, receptacle. We have a patch cord, comes in various lengths, and then we have the actual isolation module uh, that can be installed inside the enclosure. It is DIN rail mountable. This is our demo unit, so it is uh, mounted in a flat position just for convenience of viewing. I'm going to go ahead and turn power on to our uh, demo here. And as you can see, there's three red lights. Each one of those lights is indicating power for that particular phase. In our demo unit here, we're able to control the various phases so we can show if they're, uh, that they're functioning and, in fact, monitoring all the phases. If you were to push the uh, control button now, this little device is performing the test on itself. It is confirming that it is installed properly. It's checking for voltage. And it probably went a little quick there. And if it burns continually yellow, it indicates that there's presence of voltage in there. It's also indicated by the three red uh, lights indicating power. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn the power off. And again, this is a test unit, so you can see inside the enclosure. If I hit the button again, it performs the function testing itself, but you notice it's glowing red. There's presence of voltage. The threshold this device uh, will indicate is under three volts, either AC or DC. So why is there a voltage present? If you can see that little muffin fan in there spinning, well, it's indicating that there's a, a DC, a capacitor needing to be discharged. Now that you can see that the fan has stopped turning, the capacitor has been discharged, let's perform the test again. It's going through its cycling here, and lo and behold, it's glowing green, indicating that there's absence of voltage, and the tech can now enter the enclosure safely to perform their work. One of the questions that uh, you may ask is, well, if there's no voltage inside the enclosure, how is it glowing green? Well, we can pull this collar off, open that up, and it's uh, powered by a 3-volt lithium-ion battery. Uh, long uh, life, up to five years. You'll also notice as I open this up, it's gasketed here. So this is a NEMA 4X rated device, so it could go into a wash down, wet environment, and then uh, put the collar back on here, and it's, it's glowing green, absence of power. So um, that is brand new to the market. It is patented by Panduit and it indicates absence of voltage and uh, a big time consuming uh, device here so the techs do not have to put on the personal protection equipment to perform their uh, work, that, work that needs to be done out there in the field. Hey, I really appreciate it, Steve. Thank you. Thank you.